that's super right here. Net worth is about uh, the amount of assets that minus your liabilities, right? So let's break down wealth real quick. Wealth is having an abundance of assets. I need B to say abundance of assets. Abundance of assets. X that supersede liabilities. That supersede liabilities. Everybody in debt. In One more time. An abundance of assets. An abundance of assets. That supersede liabilities. And debt. That's wealth, right? So wealth is that. Now legacy is the amount of assets or cash, what I call cash debts, that we leave behind for our heirs. That's legacy. So we're trying to build legacy here, bridge the wealth gap, right? Absolutely. Information, your reputation, all that. So the amount of cash sets we leave behind for our heirs. That's legacy. So I thought about net worth. Cool. We know the net worth gap. Net worth is about, again, jewelry, cars, or art, whatever has value that you have, minus your liabilities and your debt. That's your net worth, whatever that's over, right? Cool. I thought this new thing, though, called net worth AD. AD stands for at demise or after death. Think about this. As you're building your living net worth, if you get the right life insurance policy and strategy, you can already secure your legacy at death. And guess what? We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die one day. We gotta stop being so spooky as a community when it comes to our mortality. You're like, oh, fuck me about my death shit, what? <laughs> you ain't gonna run from death, you can't cheat that. So we can secure our bag by having a net worth AD at the demise. That net worth AD, what I did, I went out and I got the largest life insurance policy I can get. I got a $2 million life insurance policy, which made me feel so good, Mice, as a black man, to just know, on the front line, in the hood, health, whatever. Mind you, y'all, I just had surgery last year out of nowhere, first surgery in my life. I had a surgery August 14th for a hole in my intestine. Had to have an emergency surgery, life-changing surgery, had a poop bag for five months, then had to reverse that surgery. My eight-month-year-old daughter just had surgery about four weeks ago for excessive fluid in her brain. My wife just announced to me three days ago, she said a positive for COVID. Life and health happens, family. But what I do know, no matter how life happens, is that my heirs, at the very least, despite my real estate, businesses, jewelry, art, and everything else, I'm leaving my heirs with more than I ever was left. You all have the same opportunity to bridge the wealth gap just by living and dying with the right policies. But I took this step further. Not only did I have a two million dollar policy, I learned that from my bank account, that's giving me 0.01% of my checking account, I can take all the cash from my bank account or a portion of it, dump it into my life, my life insurance cash value, it starts to earn money based on a market index, it's IUL, life insurance. So on that cash value, my life insurance cash has been earning 9.75% in the market. So I earn more than my bank account off my life insurance policy, getting greater returns. But then I found a strategy that I could borrow against this for real estate or business assets or whatever I want, stock market, what I'm doing with Lawrence. I just bought, now mind you, I'm not giving you a theory, I'll tell you what I actually did. I borrowed against my life insurance at a 4.2% interest while it's earning 9.75, which means I'm still up 5.5%. So my money's still earning more than the bank, but now I'm doubly using it, and I'm going to the stock market being coached by him. I just opened my TD Ameritrade account, I transferred my money, it's now in my account, and we're going to the market. He just showed me his receipts. He made $1,800 today of one trade in 12 minutes. $1,800 today of one trade in 12 minutes. I'm in. I'm in. I'm sold. Right, sign me up bwsoacademy.com. So this is a protect cash strategy. I'm protecting my cash. The capital in my life insurance is also uh, protected from litigation. So whatever I put in here, you can't sue me for because it's for my heirs. So you protect it, you also defer taxes from it, and you can use it as leverage at the same time.